What's up, my know-it-alls? Well, it is that time, Star Wars time. And uh, yeah, man, Obi-Wan Kenobi dropped today. Um, normally, I have these up a lot sooner. Mm -hmm. Things just got a little ahead of us today, so thank you so much for being patient, everybody. But uh, of course, I'm joined by the lovely Twi'lek to my Jabba. Wait, huh? What? I don't know. Knock it off. Whatever. <laughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi, episode four. Here we go. Okay, so I tell you what, Obi-Wan Kenobi, for me, isn't disappointing. Now, uh, I had a lot of things going on today, so I wasn't able to get to this sooner. But I was able to catch a few hints of what people were thinking, what people were talking about online. Mm -hmm. And I'm a little confused by some some of them, those things. But uh, overall, we like to start this thing off. We're talking about what we liked, what we didn't like. So we're going to jump in uh, to what, uh, let, let, let's see if it was, uh, if your feelings are, oh, let me turn the sound off. That would help. But um, yeah, man, it's uh, it, it's not every day that you find something that both understands you, but clearly doesn't understand half the fans. I don't know. The fans are are crazy out there. <laughs> People just want to be angry about stuff. I got I, I don't I don't understand. And I don't sit here try to understand it. Um, much like my beloved Star Trek, Star Wars fans are crazy. And so um, I like to do my best to stay away from a lot of that drama. So um, some of the things I did like. <clears throat> well, wait. Go ahead. There's how many episodes? There are six. And we're on episode four. Okay. And next week's the penultimate episode, which is episode five. Okay, and then the that's final okay. Episode, is episode six, the oh. following after. All right. Well, what did you like? <laughs> wow. <laughs> She's such a harsher critic than I am sometimes. Um, okay. So I, I, I'm, believe it or not, uh, Lil Leia's attitude is growing on me. Mm -hmm. It's growing on me, oh, yeah. and, and it didn't. Not that it didn't grow on me, but it was clear there was a little. It was a little heavy-handed in previous weeks, previous episodes. But um, and of course, it was the whole her being able to run away from grown men who are literally paid to go hunt people. <laughs> and so, uh, so there was. But I, I didn't mind. And well, she's actually one of our discussion topics, so I'm right, not going right. to get ahead. I don't want to get ahead of us. Um, but I liked her. I really dug Discount Rebellion. By Discount Rebellion, I'm talking about so. Um, O'Shea Jackson, he plays this guy. This He plays uh, Indira Verma, I'm sorry, uh, Tala, for those of you playing at home. He plays Tala's contact, Roken, on, right. on Jabim. Mm -hmm. So the entire, you find out in the series that everybody, this is the path. It's the equivalent of they like. They call it the path, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like the, um, I guess the closest analogy would be like the Underground Railroad. Oh, there you during go. During the Civil War. So, <laughs> yeah, where, there you, know, you go. Blacks were being hunted. They were being uh, Harriet Tubman and the like. Right. We were hiding people and, sh you know, scurrying. Same thing with this. In The Path, yeah. Jedi and different people uh, who that are, are trying, trying to, to get away. trying to avoid the Empire, yeah. Right. They take this possible. underground mm -hmm. method, if you will. And uh, so that's, that's a big talking point. I liked it for several reasons. One of them is you get this really cool... Obi-Wan notices, oh, you mean such and such? And that's somebody he knows. Right. And they're like, oh, and and they're like, oh yeah, no, they, they help us often to get people through and whatnot. Um, to they help us move younglings. Right. Because every now and again you still get old former younglings who don't are well, not just that, but they she even pointed out that force sensitive too. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So um and so it, very interesting. And yeah. I, I liked sort of that whole aspect. Uh, I also liked the um, I liked the inqu the Inquisitorious, which is that the name of the place that they that the Inquisitors Inquisitorium. Yeah, the Inquisitorium is. <laughs> but I like the Inquisitorious uh, in that it's their like base. Yeah, and it's in but it's in the Mustafar yeah. system. Yeah. Mustafar for those of you playing at home, where Darth Vader is located. Mm -hmm. um, so his so apparently this system has a lot more a few more planets. I think it's hilarious. There's a fire planet and a water planet I in know, the same right? system. Um, it's very, yeah, no, it's, the, the symmetry is, it's just stupid. But, um, yeah, man, I, I dug it. I thought, you know, I loved, I, it's one of our discussion topics. Never mind. Sorry. We have a list in front of us of things that I want to make sure I, my ADD didn't get, get ahead of me. And so I'm, <laughs> I'm like, there's a list. It's here, this and that. And plus it, Dawn loves having the list and it helps me, it helps me stay focused. It helps us stay mm -hmm. on task. Anyway. I've liked everything that you said. Exactly what you've <laughs> 
what you've liked. It's like, yeah, I was going to say that. That's yeah, not that how I was this like, works. I know, but I'm you're doing such a great job. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm like a little encouragement from your wife. Um, yeah, no. Uh, so, okay. So, what else? I'm trying to think what else some other things I did like. I, I loved, I liked Indira's character. I liked Tala in this. Mm -hmm. I thought Tala really did a good job. Um, so, this is the equivalent, this episode is the equivalent of uh, what I told my wife was this is like the Star Trek equivalent of the a couple episodes ago which was the we got the shore leave episode this episode is the Star Wars version of that which is the jailbreak episode okay yeah. everybody uh, recognizes uh, Han Solo escaping yeah we're always seeing people escape yep and so this is exactly that um, I like you 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 get to see uh, you get to see Obi Wan Kenobi. He is in a back to tank. He gets taken there um, by uh, uh, Tala. Tala mm -hmm. is attending to him and caring for him. And he has these really bad dreams. He feels like his brain is synced with Vader's, and that there's back and forth going on. And I then eventually, you do. Oh yeah, I think that's I definitely a thing. I don't not think it's true. I haven't really thought about it much, but yeah, I, I if I give it some thought, I I think that I think that was happening. I think he I think uh, Obi Wan definitely was connected to. Darth Vader yeah. and the reason why I say that that's very possible is that we did see that yeah, we, we saw did. that with uh, yeah we did that last guy yeah I can't name his name. who the emperor no um, no in, in the in the in the the, the uh, I forgot she's Louise you're good don't worry we saw it we we because we, we saw it in um in the, a movie in one of their movies the last one oh Star what? Wars movies yes or episodes we, um the, the st movies we saw that he um Ray. What about her? Could talk to what's his name? Oh yeah. That whole okay. In with, with all the um the new sequel new sequel series um powers. Yeah, I don't remember which one. One of the ones was on. uh, one of the one is Ray and Lu they have uh, like long distance. Yeah. They have like long distance. They do. Yeah, they, so, so to me that wasn't too far fetched. I mean to have sure. Ben and, and Vader do that. Um that's his name, Ben. Um mm -hmm. yeah. Old Ben. Old Ben. That's what he likes to go by. Old Ben. But uh, yeah, man. No. Uh, so he um, he wakes up. He's he freaks out from waking up, and he ends up heading straight. Uh, he's like, "We got to go find her. We got to find her. We right. got to find her." And so they're like, "There's no way you can get in there because, of course, it's an impenetrable thing. Why not? We saw something similar in Rogue One. Oh, you're gonna tell me I can't go somewhere? I'm gonna go right there." And so <laughs> he. Uh, so what does he do? He does exactly that. We have uh, Tala, who has still valid mm -hmm. Empire credentials still and so they go she saunters through like she owns the place orders some folks around ends up going to a station she's looking some stuff up her storyline isn't a bad one and later on when faced with vader um she does a bold move that i did not expect which is she stands her ground and she, she, she does not back down mm -hmm. and i thought that was not vader it was reva well, and yeah. i was very very <laughs> excited to see the fact that I, I was happy i like i like indira varma i like seeing her not being slimy or being double crossy or spy like i mm -hmm. like seeing her being a an honorable character and the thing is she keeps holding to is this is not the empire i thought i was joining up and that's a side of this conversation when it comes to star wars that i don't think nobody seen. ever well yeah i don't think anybody I liked no, seeing. No. I liked seeing the. Um, there was a. It was it a comic book. There was a story somewhere that discussed the number of friends people lost. Oh, it was on. It was the Mandalorian. Remember the Mandalorian season two? That's he, right. Yeah. There, when they mm -hmm. capture the one M Imperial ship, and and it's him, and it's all the other Mandalorians fighting yes. their way to the yep. front. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, in that. That you have the one guy who's like, I had good friends who died on that Death Star, yeah, and he's like both of them, and right. you're like, and you don't think about the fact that there are people. You just, you know, we see the movies aspect, mm. and so I really like the fact that they, it's not that they humanized it, but they let you see the like edges, yeah, and you see that it's not everything's not ev what you thought it was per se. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Anyways, I'm I'm a I'm I like I like when you get to see the BTS of. The Empire. Mm -hmm. And you see the people who make up the Empire. Right. So the same exact thing. Indira is one of those people. I'm sorry. Tala is one of those people where she's, uh, she does not feel like, she's like, hey, I signed up for, for a different thing. And all and of a sudden. And then they all went, yeah. It's It got bad. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Um, and so she, uh, she she's, a, I love her storyline. Um, Obi-Wan. Seeing Obi-Wan kind of, it's so funny. I didn't think about it until just now. Had all day to think about the episode. I didn't think about it until just a second. 
Obi Wan looks a lot like himself when he. I say himself because I meant old Obi Wan. Yeah. He's hiding and moving back and forth through the Imperial uh, hallways. Which is what we saw in A New Hope. And what does he do in the one? Yep. There's that one scene when the stormtroopers are there. They're like, I thought I, saw, I thought I heard something. That's right. <laughs> he uses his little force deal. He's like, and you heard the little thing. And they go looking. And he comes. He moves his robe. And he's very. Yeah. You know what? I didn't realize that. But you're right. He does do that. All of these are part of the visual language that us Star Wars fans are used to seeing. I don't necessarily mean the storylines of the plots and things like that. Because people get those things confused. But it's a lot like George, what George Lucas said. Again, it's like poetry. It's sort of they rhyme. Every stanza kind of rhymes with the last one. He's got that whole thing where he's like, that's what it's supposed to be like. Mm-hmm. So similarly, I think that's, this is just life. This is the, the, the flow of how the force and things work. Mm-hmm. And I feel like him, these moments inform. Right. There's people out there who are freaking out about this breaks canon, that breaks canon. What are you talking about? The story is the story is the story is the story. <laughs> right. Okay, the Star Wars you see right this moment, that's our that's Star Wars right now. Mm-hmm. So either, I don't know why you want to be a fan of something you hate. Because guess what? Nobody's taking the old stuff away. Go watch it. Yeah. Go watch it and enjoy your Star Wars if that's the case. I like Star Wars. I like the ball where it lies. I play the ball where it lies. Mm-hmm. I like Star Wars where yeah. it's at. So for me, seeing that whole thing and rash of events, and I'll be done shortly and we can keep talking. I'm trying to get the recap finished. One of the greatest things ever is when, so spoilers, Obviously, uh, Obi Wan and uh, Leia escape, and one Leia's a little bad a. She's a total. She's awesome. When she's she faces Moses, uh, Moses Ingram. She faces Eriva straight yep. up and is like, I'm I was like, you it. a tough girl, man. Oh, dude, she's so much so. Um, is it too much? I don't necessarily no. know. I, I think, think it so. builds into the, who the character is later. Mm-hmm. So I don't have a problem with that. Um, I think that seeing the, this major escape and then ultimately when Vader does show up and Vader is raw as can be. He, bursts, he is. He is just. He bursts into the Inquisitorium room, the main con- command center, snatches up Reva by the thing. And I'm just like, oh, my goodness. Anyways, it's this whole thing. And so right after that, she ends up. Um, she tells him, I put a tracker on the thing. I called it immediately. That stupid little robot. Daggone Lola. Anyways, we'll get to that in a minute. So that's the recap. It's that's the, the rough robot. recap of events. Is This is essentially a, a jailbreak episode. Yeah, it is. Somebody called it boring. And I'm like, this episode was anything but boring. There was a lot of no, things it was going a, on. it was a good episode. It wasn't the best episode of all time, but it definitely was a good it episode. Went, it went fast, too. Right on. I mean. Okay. So now that you've got the rough general overview, what did I not like? Um, I was not a fan of the, I feel like either Leia needs to have a little bit more, like, she she feels just as capable now at 10 or 9 years old, whatever age she's supposed to be, as she feels at 19 when we see her in A New Hope. I feel like that's a problem. Not It's not the Mary Sue problem, but I feel like we're not seeing her evolve so Star Trek, um, Star Trek is doing a different thing in that in Strange New Worlds, we're seeing Ahura. We're seeing all these earlier right, characters. Right, everybody. And you're seeing them learning to eventually become the characters we know. It's a great place to be at, especially if you're going to live in that era. Mm-hmm. So Star Wars is doing something very similar. Show me Leia. We, we got a glimpse of it last week. Because last week she was noticing Tala hardcore. Noticing her, peeping what she does, and be like, okay, you're this and this and this. We need... But, we don't see her evolving. We just see her, I'm the little cool kid I've always, uh, that I'm going to grow up to be a cool adult and this and that. And I'm like, where's the learning process? Where's the evolution? Hmm. So far, we haven't seen another person learn anything in Star Trek, or in Star Wars, rather, since uh, since Luke was a child. We meet Luke, he's whiny, doesn't know anything, and has to learn. That's the last time we went on a journey in Star Wars. I have yet to see oh, a journey yeah. of any kind going on. I mean, we're currently seeing, apparently, uh, uh, this guy online tried it as an insult. I actually think it's rather funny and clever. Uh, we get to watch instead how how Obi-Wan got his groove back. <laughs> Which I'm I'm down. That's the story I came to watch. I'm down. Right. Um, somebody else offered up online, oh, you could have seen this really. What if they had done, li- I thought we were going to get... Uh, you know, Obi-Wan defending, you know, this person doing favors for Jabba the Hutt, doing this and this and this. Essentially, Obi-Wan doing a bunch of stuff on Tatooine. And I'm like, 
We already got that. It's called Book of Boba Fett. I don't know why I need another. Right. I mean, yeah. give me. That's so right. I, <laughs> yeah. There's Checking in with everybody. For real. There's apparently, <laughs> had, there's apparently canon comic books and whatever else and stuff that is uh, doesn't jibe. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm. What very, if this? Oh, sorry. Mm, what if it. this was the turning point for little Leia? Like this is what she learned how to be this way. She becomes the 19 year old Leia mm -hmm. after being nine year old Leia. Well, I'm down. I'm but you gotta. I'm but grasping you, there. No, 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 no. But I'm down. I'm, if this is the inciting event that leads her to want to eventually be in the rebellion or have a little more thought about what the empire's really mm -hmm. made of and all this other stuff, um, I'm down. My only question mark, if that's going to be the case, is why is she, I, I, no? I got a problem with it. Period. I have a problem. With it. <laughs> Well, okay, I was gonna try. To, I was gonna, I was gonna try to explain it away, and, yeah. or may even mansplain it away. But at the end of the day, I feel like there. I feel like the issue I have with her is the same issue that I had in the, in, in the sequel series with mm -hmm. Ray. Mm -hmm. I like the sequel series as movies, as sci-fi, as whatever they are. It's fine. Again, same way with everything else. I don't get lost in the head in the canon mm -hmm. con conversation. But I will admit, like anybody should, Ray didn't have to learn anything. No, she just no. They tried to show us. She raised training with Leia. Okay, cool. But we didn't go on that journey with her. So we're getting young Mary Sue teaching older Mary Sue. I don't know. I also hate the phrase Mary Sue because I think it's inaccurate and I think it's stupid. But um, I, uh, James Earl Jones still sounded like James Earl Jones. Vader sounds amazing. Still does, yeah. So, all right. Well, let's get into the let's get into some of our discussion topics. Uh, what are your general thoughts about the show so far? By that I mean literally the episodes we've gotten to this point overall. They've been okay. Um, really? Yeah, they've been okay. Um... This is episode four, yeah. and we end at six. Yeah. Let, let, let's pick it up. There's a lot that has to happen in the next two episodes. There really is. True. Um, yeah. I, I, they just need to pick it up a little bit. Really? I didn't realize there were just six. I thought there was yeah, a little bit. Yeah, no, it's, a, it's, a, it's an actual limited series. Um, though they are, because of the reception, they're talking about potentially expanding it yeah. by doing another, like another, maybe one more season or something. Just mm -hmm. as there's, But I, my feeling is there's only so much story you can tell. And yeah. this time frame, and I liked a couple. I liked what they, I like where they're going. I with do Some too. of the I characters, some I of the stuff. Too. If they can, if they can land the plane in two episodes. Yeah. Um. No, but I do. I, it. I like it. I'm enjoying it. It's not wowing me, but I'm definitely enjoying it. Right on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. I'm really. Um. I'm Star Wars all the time. I put a tracker on something, so thus everything gets tracked. We're always letting people go because there's a tracker on something. I'm. That's just old. I think I get out of that. That think that, about it. That Every trope. that that trope is is I put a tracker on it. Yeah, no, for sure, absolutely. And it's one of those things that you it's it almost takes you out of the story a little bit mm -hmm. because you sit here and you go, oh, okay, fine, whatever. Um, but yeah, I hear you. Uh, uh, Leia. Leia doing Leia things. And mm -hmm. by that I'm I mean, all right with by, that. By that I, mean, I mean the same thing she's going to be doing for the next 30 years. I do like. Which is getting captured and yeah, interrogated. Yeah, she'll be captured and interrogated over and over and over for the next Literally. 30 years. Yeah, exactly. Um, one thing that I did like, mm -hmm. um, with the, with the, which tells me that this is the growing experience for Leia, right. um, is she says, well, because Reva makes the comments, hey, you know, we're on the same side. And there's a long pause, and Leia goes, well, then I should call my dad if we're all on the same side. So it was just kind of like she she knew better. Yeah. You know, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with where she's going. Okay, fair enough. Um, I, it, it, so for me, I know you're worried about where the show's in terms of how fast they're going to land this plane. Um, it looks like at least since, yeah, since last week's episode when Obi-Wan got his butt handed to him, um, yeah. that which I can understand, mm -hmm. it feels like this is an older He's oh, he's learning rather he's learning how to become the older version of himself. He's I've heard online somewhere people say oh Obi Wan Kenobi uh, that that you lose force sensitivity the older you get and I don't think that's the case because I remember a guy named Yoda who could literally pick up a spaceship. Uh, so uh, I don't. Know. I think this is re like stretching his muscles. Yeah, I know? I agree because if you notice, so there's a couple of times in in the early parts of this episode where he's just playing with moving stuff. Yeah, like trying he's to trying to to get it right. 
And then you have later toward the end when he's with he, the uh, underground wall. Uh, yeah, dude. Windows, yeah, that thing. Sh- the, when he when there was trying to escape and the gla- and he's he first off that whole escape scene when he's he's a, once they alerted the droid. Yeah, he's sitting here and he's using his lightsaber and blocking uh, l- yeah uh, laser fire and he's blocking it the way he always used to. So there's a lot of it, it's coming. Things are coming back to him in my opinion. I think they are. Yeah, you know? I think you're and, right. Uh, like I loved loved. So what did I absolutely love? That moment when he, when he, the lights shut off in Leia's thing, except for the red. Uh-huh. And a couple of stormtroopers like, what? And out of the darkness, all of a sudden, this blue lightsaber shows up. Yep. And then, then it disappears. And then you, this guy's like, what's going on? Who's, what's going on out there? And you don't see this other shadow, but then it lights up. And you're like, bro, give me... Give me Obi Wan Kenobi like on the sneak, just smoking <laughs> fools, and I'm there. It was I loved seeing that. So he's getting his memory back in terms of how to, how how to, to ma- use the force, force manipulate yeah. it, and whatnot. Um, then we see that thing at the un- underneath the Inquisitorius. I don't know. Online, there seems to be some debate if they're dead. Or if they're just like in some crazy clear form of carbonite, almost like being an amber kind of a thing. Oh, so, yeah. um, like, because the guy online, I, I who his review I watched, he said he thought that they were, um, that they were trophies. I didn't get that. I did. I didn't get. The, I didn't think they were trophies. I thought they were um, either they're captured to be experimented on. Or they want them so they know where they're at, or they can find some way to break them. I feel like there's a reason, and it's not. It didn't feel like jail. It felt like they were being captured for a purpose. You know what I mean? Like whether they're going to be experiment, especially because the whole it's a giant area. I don't know, but hmm. yeah, I'm trying to get my my my. my I thought that I because I can the, see I can see Vader being that way. Absolutely. Okay. Maybe now because he's young. Right. The the older older and wiser the older and wiser Vader though. I thought Vader was still dope. Oh yeah. You know, uh, he 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 behaved the way I kind of always imagined his interactions with subordinates are. You know, just being like just like that. Can you imagine being like working in that environment? It's like, you know, Vader goes to the kitchen. He opens up the things. Like, who ate the last of the donuts? Who drank my coffee and didn't fill up the coffee thing again? The coffee Keurig. Some guy's like, that was my fault. Force choke. You know what I mean? <laughs> Who ate my lunch? Force choke. Like, okay, so this goes back to when I said this is younger Vader versus the wiser Vader. Yeah, too. absolutely. Okay, before. Absolutely. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, You're bef- right, though. <laughs> before, before we wrap up, I do want to talk about... Um, so apparently there's a thing going on, or has been going on, with yeah, the actress to hear this. Uh, Moses Ingram. Uh, I don't normally talk about negative things. I feel like Mm -hmm. there's enough negativity in the world. Your feed is probably full of all kinds of negative stuff. Even if it's not even, if it's not even about the fandom, sometimes it's about in general, what is happening in the world. (laughs) Uh, I, I need everybody to understand very clearly. And I can't speak for my, for my wife. Mrs. Know-it-all can speak for herself. I very much feel like the world is full of so much darkness. I don't need to go there. I like enjoying my fandom and like enjoying the things I enjoy. Mm -hmm. Because they're fun. Yeah. I don't want to... So so the fact that there is an entire... I'm, I'm saying all of that to say this is why I'm only now saying something. I'm saying something because it's persisting. There's more going on and it's continuing. And to the point that I'm just like, this is really... is This is tired. Um, there, I don't, I don't understand the inherent racism and sexism behind attacking Moses Ingram and her being on the series. Uh, I see nothing wrong with the character that she has, that she's playing. Um, I think Inquisitor Riva is great. Um, I don't have any of those feelings toward Mm -hmm. um, rebels or any of the previous things to be worried about the fact that, oh, there's Inquisitor, this and that, she's breaking cannon. First off, Moses Ingram isn't doing any of those things. Moses Ingram is an actress. She's an actress who was hired to play a role. She's Um, doing what she's told. She's doing an amazing job. She does not. She didn't step in and start making decisions about Star Wars. So if you want to be mad at anybody, take it up with Dave Filoni, Kathleen Kennedy, uh, 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 and everyone else. You know all the other folks, <laughs> John Favreau. You know whoever you want to talk about uh, uh, there. Uh, mm-hmm. Heck, George Lucas, if you want. I don't care. But Give at the end, of the, yeah, totally. <laughs> For real. But at the end of the day, it's like that's just foolish, and um, I, I don't agree with it. Uh, I definitely stand with Moses Ingram in that. Hey, man, what what the heck's wrong with everybody? 
you you don't let. And the funny part is, I sit here and go, I'd be scared of her character. I kind of want to go. What show or what what fandom did you want? Like, <laughs> what Star Wars were you looking for? Is it just because <laughs> I want the one that's in my head canon? Well, that's on that you, bro. Work. That's on you. <laughs> go make that movie. Go you get you get yourself a, get yourself a camera. Heck, you use your phone these days. Okay, whatever it takes. But um, anyway, so yeah, I'm not a big fan of the whole Moses Ingram being attacked thing. I think that's foolish, and I think it's silly. Mm-hmm. So concurred. Concurred. know it all said, stand with Moses Ingram. Yes. I don't know, whatever. Um, yeah, man. Don't mm-hmm. you know. And I already I discussed. Know. I already hit on the discount rebels. Anyway, um, overall, I w- it was it was a lackluster episode, but it wasn't mm-hmm. it wasn't bad. No. Well executed. Mm-hmm. I think you could definitely see the money on the screen. Um, and so, yeah, uh, there you go. Now you know. And if knowing is half the battle, you are halfway to being a know it all that we know you can be. So, what's the know it all index for the two of us? What is your, I'll do yours first and then I'll give mine second. What's your know it all index first? Um, I thought about it and I'm like, it wasn't, this is not my favorite episode. I'm actually kind of really let down by the episode. Wow. It was good. No, 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 wait. It was good, but I'm yeah. still looking for the, the wow factor. I mean, sure. I thought, why didn't I get that wow factor when, when Reva threw the, the uh, uh, rebel symbol yeah. on the table to like scare Leia? No, I didn't get that, I get that either. Maybe I mean, it's either. cause like, I mean, I mean, I do, I do love the stuff. The, the character Reva, she's a monster. And she is doing really good. She intimidated Leia, but Leia also knew better. So. Sure. Anyways, but um, I gave it a 7 out of 10. Right on. 7 out of 10. I didn't want to go too much lower because I think that would be... But definitely a 7 out of 10. No, I got you. Mm-hmm. Um, I am going to go one less than you. I got I give it a 6 out of 10. Um, no, it a hey, it earned every one of those six points. It's a it's a good episode. I enjoyed it. You definitely should watch it. Give me your thoughts. Comment below. Let us know what you thought in the comments. We totally would love to have that discussion. Um, overall, though, I'm I'm not against what they're doing. I'm enjoying no, the show. I'm, I'm like like I said, I'm entertained. Mm-hmm. It's not. You know how we go back and yeah. we watch like Mandalorian. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to do that. Right now, this second, I don't know if I'm going to do that. So I've only rewatched one episode, and that was the last episode. Mm-hmm. I don't know that I'll rewatch this episode, though I may. Um, so it's, and I guess that's a lot of what it has to do for me is what's the rewatchability factor of this thing, mm-hmm. you know? So we'll see if they're going to do um, how much more they're going to do or what they have coming. Mm-hmm. Uh, next week's the pen ultimate episode. Normally, statistically speaking, that is a television series best episode, mm-hmm. uh, which is the second to last episode before it's the season's over. And then we get the final episode the week after. So two more weeks, our last two episodes. I'm looking forward to seeing what they're doing. So yeah, man. All right, everybody. Well, stick around. I will be here next week. With this nice, beautiful lady next to me, we're going to tell you a little bit more about Obi-Wan and what's going on in the world of Star Wars. So don't miss it. Never forget. Everybody loves to know it all. See you guys next week. Bye.